them are factorized questions. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the difference between a factorized and a solved question of two easy ones. Okay. Question 29 is a factorized question, and factorized means you get no answer. You just get something that looks different. Solve is different. So the two questions would look like this. X squared minus 3x minus 30 is a factorize. A solved question is x squared minus 13x minus 30 equals 0. Note the difference. Okay? Next thing. To do the factorize, you multiply. There's always a 1 in front of x squared. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. So here's how you do it. 1 times 30 or minus 30? Minus 30. The reference number is minus 30. Now what you'll always do when it's 1x squared is you'll always open up a pair of brackets like so and you'll always write in x here and x here. Okay? Next step. Pick two numbers that multiply together to give you 30 but minus 30 but to, yeah take away to give you minus 13. Yes? 6 and 5. 6 and 5 won't work because minus 6 plus 5 is 1 or 5 minus 6 it has to make 13 in the middle Luke. 10 and 3. 10 and 3. Yeah. Shh. Minus I know. I know. Shh. 10 and 3. It looks like it will work but it won't and I'll tell you why. Minus 10 minus 3 excuse me Minus 10 and minus 3 makes minus 13, that's okay. But when you multiply minus 10 by minus 3, it gives you plus 30, not minus 30. And therefore, you need to go for another option. Harry? Minus 15 and 2. 15 and 2, or minus 15 and? Plus 2. Plus 2, which is correct. Minus 15, plus 2. Now, you've now completed the factorized question. However, the solved question has one extra step. The solved question asks you to solve which number is which. So either the first number equals zero, or the second number equals zero, in which case the solve goes over x equals minus two, x equals 15. That there is the difference between factorize and solve. Question, now what I'm gonna show you is two different ways of doing this now, okay? What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do, we're going to do a factorize and solve question of we're going to do a factorize and solve question of the following. Okay? Actually, just give me one second here. So guys, here's a longer version. Okay? This one here is 3x squared plus 11x minus 20. Now, the problem is with this one is that it doesn't have a 1 in front of it. So it doesn't break up that easy. You do what's called the reference number method again, except it's longer. 3 times minus 20? Minus 60. Now, I'm also going to do a solved version of this as well, just in case they happen to try it out at you, okay? Now, the solved version would look like? Zero. Equals zero. Now, look at what happens now, okay? Solved version, and what we're going to do next is, minus 60 is the reference number. Pick two numbers that multiply to give you 60, Minus 60, but yet they add together to give you minus, uh, plus 11. Yes? Uh, 15 and plus 15 and minus 4. Plus 15 and minus 4. Okay? Now here's the, here's the different part here now, okay? Remember this? 3x squared, yeah? Minus 4x plus 15x minus 20. Now we did this a while back where we grouped them together. Now what happens now when we group them together, Harry? And uh, then you, uh, you go uh, take out like, um, you take out one x. Take out x, and what do we get? Uh, get 3x. 3x. Um, minus 4. Minus 4. Multiply it out. x times 3x. 3x. Yeah. x times minus 4. 4 minus 4x. Okay, you automatically know that the next bracket has to be there. Same. What number goes in here? Yeah, right? Minus 5. And uh, not minus 5? Plus 5. Plus 5 times 3x is 15x. And then what's the final uh, what's the final answer now? X yeah. plus 5 and 3x minus 4. X plus 5 and 3x minus 4. Okay? Now, if you're doing the solved version of this, what happens? 
you're going to have x plus 5 down here, 3x minus 4 up here, and you have equals 0. What's the next step? Joey? So, um, if you add x plus 5 equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0, and? 3x minus 4 equals 0. Perfect. Move the 5 out of your side. Just give me a second. Move the 5 out of your side. What do we get? Minus 5. Move the 4 over to your side. 3x equals? Now where does the 3 go? 3 is being multiplied, which means on the other side it's going to be? Divide. 4 over 3. Now, you. Alright, 38. There's two types of question. Okay, first type is to factorize, the second one is to solve. Okay? Now, in the factorized question, it's going to be 6x squared plus x minus 15. To solve is the same thing, bar it has a minus 0 sign. What you'll do to do the solve question is complete the factorize first, and then you can put it equal to 0. So, step 1. 6 multiplied by minus 15 is what? Minus 90. Break up minus 90 into what? Two numbers that multiply together to be 90, but yet their difference is the middle number. 10 and 9. 45. 10 and 9. 45 and 2 has a difference of 43. It's okay. Now guys, which one should be minus, which one should be plus? 10 minus 9. 10 minus 9. Plus 10 minus 9. Is everybody still with me? Now, you change this into 6x squared plus 10x minus 9x minus 15. Now, what happens now? 10. Pair them up. What can I take out of the two of these? X. X. Is there any, what is the, what's the biggest number that will divide into 10 and 6? 2. two. Open up your brackets. See the way there's a plus here, yeah? That means a plus goes in there. What number multiplies by 2x to give you 6x squared? 3x. What number multiplies by 2x to give you 10x? The other bracket must be there. Same. Now, what number goes in here? Minus 3. What's the end? 2x minus 3, 3x plus. Does anybody have any problems with them? Uh, Luke? Yeah, I just, you know, when we're doing our own, book. What's going to happen next is the following, okay? 6x squared plus 1x minus 15. So what we're going to do next is this. Uh, the solve question is done exactly the same. You do all of this, do you understand? Every single bit of that you do. And when you get to this stage, you now have this. Do you understand? The only difference is there's an equals zero. Now what you do now at this stage? Either the first number equals zero or the second one. So you're going to get 2x minus 3 equals zero or... And then what happens? x equals 3 over 2. That's the final answer for one of them. Bring the 5 over the other side. 3x equals x equals minus 5 over 3. I have two other types of questions to show you. Now, one second, I understand that, but I have to show you two other things. Alright guys, there's two other types, okay? Factorize and solve, okay? Now look at this. Factorize x squared minus 25. Does anybody remember how to do that? Luke? Uh, yeah, the x squared then what? Uh, x, x, x plus 5. five. And? X minus five. Perfect. That's Luke getting that perfect. It's called the difference of two squares. When there's no x value there. What about this one, Luke? X squared, we're gonna, we're gonna, this time we're gonna do a solved version, okay? X squared minus 64 equals zero. How'd you do that? 
So it's x squared minus a squared equals zero. Then what? Uh, x plus a. Yeah, and then x minus a equals. And then what? Then x plus a equals zero. And then you have to solve x plus a equals zero or x minus a equals zero. And then what happens? Uh, minus a. X equals minus a and. Okay, guys. One error type. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you another one. Okay. Now here's here's one like this. Okay. Three x squared minus twenty seven x. What can you take out of both of them? Okay. Now look at this. We can take out three x and we get. 3x into x, x minus 9 because nine. Nine. 3x by x is 3x squared 3x by minus 9 yeah. minus 27x what about this one here? solve question it's not a reference number because it has no last number do you understand? so what happens now? 4x uh, uh, x bracket x plus Equals zero. Equals zero. Then what? Four x equals zero. Blame the first number or blame the second number. And x equals minus four. X equals zero. Okay, guys. Uh, 